my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode is Levels of Boldness. We're living in times when we need to be bold about our faith. The word bold means not hesitating or fearful in the face of actual or possible danger. Courageous and daring. Warriors of God, we need not be fearful but have courage. When Jesus chose Peter, he was a fisherman. Strong and willing to do the right thing for his family. Fishermen were often rough brawlers. They were not considered scholarly or well-educated. Most of them had what we would call today a street smart. They had survival skills that helped them brave the elements as they tried to catch the fish. They knew how to negotiate for the best price for their daily catch. Peter was determined to follow Jesus. He was brave enough to walk away from everything to follow him. As he walked with Jesus, he started learning about miracles. He knew in his heart that Jesus was the Messiah. Many of the Jews were blind to this fact. Some were too evil to care and others were too religious to see it. Peter was known to have a temper. Uh, he would hear Jesus preach about loving people, yet Peter was ready to defend Jesus with a sword. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Peter was bold and took on a Roman soldier with a sword cutting off his ear. He was brave enough to fight for Jesus in the natural. He was bold in the flesh, but he lacked spiritual boldness. Once Jesus was taken to be delivered up for crucifixion, Peter lost all boldness for a moment, and he let fear kick in. He allowed his fear to overtake his faith. I can see how easily that could happen. One day he was walking with the Messiah who had power to heal people and raise the dead. Then all of a sudden, he was taken captive to be offered up for punishment. Peter denied Jesus and found himself warming by the enemy's fire. Jesus wasn't concerned by his momentary lapse in judgment. Jesus knew what Peter would become someday. He knew Peter would be a strong leader after he had ascended into heaven. Matthew sixteen eighteen. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. When Jesus was crucified, Peter's faith wavered. His boldness spiraled and failed him, until fortified on the day of Pentecost. Then he boldly stood and proclaimed, This is that which was prophesied by Joel. He never looked back. Once he walked with Jesus as a man and his friend, but after that day, God was within him. Suddenly, he had holy boldness. He became an empowered spreader of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Peter suffered much for the gospel. He may not have always done the right thing, but he never denied Christ again. Uh, church history said that he was even crucified upside down because he felt unworthy to die like his Savior. Many people down through the years have been martyred for the gospel. Peter went through many levels of boldness. As he walked in one and grew in faith, God raised him up a level. Satan has always had evil men in power. Look at Herod. He killed many young male babies in hopes of killing Jesus because he didn't want to give up his crown. He didn't understand that Jesus wasn't born to take his earthly crown. The Fox Book of Martyrs is a book of church history. It tells stories of people that have been martyred for the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is horrific what these people suffered. Uh, they were an inspiration to many people down through the ages. They had to have holy boldness to stand and say, It doesn't matter what you do, I will not deny Christ. Today, Satan has people in power that have evil intentions. We can stand strong like Peter or David. The same spirit that was in them is within us. We can have holy boldness and stand in the middle of adversity. Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the only one true God, and he is the only one that died to give us life. We need to give him back that life as an offering to thank him for eternal life. Make no mistake about it. When you decide to live a life for Christ, the enemy will try to stop you. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We will never win the lost with a watered-down weak gospel. People need the real truth of God. They need us to have holy boldness and stand up to evil as the early church. Where would we be today if they had not fully surrendered to the cause of Christ? 
would we even know about God's plan for salvation? I would hate to think that the gospel itself became lost because I was not bold enough to open my mouth in declaration of God's plan. 2 Corinthians 4, 1-4 Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by a manifestation of truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. I encourage you today to let your bold light shine to the world. They have been blinded to the gospel, but Jesus opened the eyes of the blind, physically and spiritually. If we can be bold, we can give the blind a little bit of the light to start seeing that Jesus is real and he is all they need. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a good day.